got my nigga leaning. Now you sure hit the plug. We up for another. And suffering here, spirit. Do you need help? You know nothing of suffering. This is my home, my village. Turn back, spirit guide. I saw him here somewhere. these spirits and restore balance to the forest. I know you are kind. You sense the power that flows through this land, but you do not fully understand it. Stay here, spirit. You must move on. You are the one who does not belong. I will never abandon my people.
You can come out. It's safe now. Look, Sire, she cleared away the poison. The little guys can eat it. <laughs> They love it. <laughs> My name's Kana. What are you two doing out here, alone in the forest? Don't worry about us. We've been here a long time and take care of ourselves. I can see that. You both look very strong. Do you know who that spirit was, with the horned mask? We don't know, but when he shows up, the girl's poison grows stronger. Hey, what are you doing here in the forest? I'm searching for the sacred mountain shrine. Can you take me there? If you want to get to the mountain shrine, you have to help us with something first. Our brother Tar was trapped deep in the forest. We need you to help him. Great idea, Saya. That'll be easy for her. Did you see what she did to that stick guy? Help us free Tarl and we'll take you to Mount Shrine. seem quite fond of you. They're usually timid. <laughs> Something tells me you did not come to our village looking for forest creatures. Hello, spirit. I seek passage to the sacred mountain shrine. Our village is bound to the shrine's energy. But that power faded long ago. Trapped spirits linger here, tangled in the tragedies of our past. You must help these spirits if you wish to reach the mountain shrine. On my way, I met two children. They asked me to help free a boy named Taro. I'm not surprised that Benny and Saya found you. They are clever children, and would do anything for their brother. We have always crafted wooden masks to honor those who have passed on. Placed here, the masks slowly turn to dust, aiding the spirit's journey into the next life. My father was a spirit guide. Our traditions are different, but he helped many spirits pass from this life to the next. So you know what happens to spirits unable to move on. Take Taro's mask. It is bound to his spirit and will help you fulfill your promise to the children.
happened? What did you see when you put on Taro's mask? Taro is here, but he's forgotten who he is. We need to find three relics to help him remember. The forest is huge. How do we know where to look? Maybe Mr. Russo can help us. His house is up that way. The mountain shrine is connected to everything in this forest. The trees here grew strong, drawing on its energy. And the land was once in perfect balance. But like all things, the mountain shrine follows a natural cycle. One that our village struggled to understand. As the shrine's power began to fade, a devastating famine struck our village. Taro lost his parents, and he was left to take care of Benny and Saya. I should have done more to help Taro. And now I can only watch as his spirit struggles. We can still help Taro, Rusu. There's a relic covered by the corruption at your house. But I need a way to break through. That weapon you carry... I sense it holds a deeper power. The staff belonged to my father. It's been in our family for generations. He must have been a great spirit guide. I may be powerless against the corruption, but I can teach you a new way to fight it back. To a trained archer, the bow is simply an extension of the body. A spirit guide staff is no different. Ground yourself. Feel the energy of the mountain. Draw on its power.
that knife for Taro when he was a boy. He loved these woods, and I tried my best to teach him the old ways. Consumed by the troubles of our village, I was not there for Taro when he needed me most. I hope we can bring him peace. More relics are hidden in the corruption of the Forgotten Forest. I'll wait for you there. the true age of these shrines. The people who built them have long been forgotten, but their work still remains, watching over the forest like ancient guardians. Taro's spirit has corrupted the shrines and sealed the entrance to the guardian tree. I can feel Taro's presence there. I've marked the shrine locations on your map. Thank you, Rusu. I'll work to clean the shrines. at the Guardian Tree, asking it to protect the ones we love. Taro left this for the children. He must have been so scared when he lost them. 
Many of the offerings here were placed by the first village leaders. Skilled hunters who use spirit energy to create powerful weapons. I'm sure the Guardian Tree won't mind if we use them to help Taro. sickness that took our parents was spreading through the village. Spirits of the forest, walk with our people. Guide them on their journey to the mountain shrine. Food was running low. Everyone was scared. I never felt so helpless. Saya wanted to stay, but I thought we could go to Rusu for help. I was sure he would know what to do. But something was not right in the woods. I had never seen Rusu so worried. He sent us back to the village. And I knew we were alone. I was all that Benny and Saya had left. I had to protect them. happened the next morning.
explosion from the mountain shrine covered the land in darkness. for days. I searched everywhere for them. I was their older brother. I was supposed to protect them. Even now, it's hard to forgive myself. Taro, the children know how much you care for them. What happened in the village wasn't your fault. You will always be their older brother, and they still need you. It's okay. You have to go now. Imagine the corruption in the forest has cleared as well. I know it was time for Benny and Saya to move on with their brother, but the forest won't be the same without them. It's natural to build a connection with the spirits we help. We give up a part of ourselves when they move on. The bond still remains. of a spirit guide is a lonely one. There is still work to be done if you wish to reach the mountain shrine. A skilled woodsmith once lived in our village and built structures beyond anyone's imagination. Search the fields beyond the storehouse for her troubled spirit.
You're going to need more power to get that door moving. Energy has not flowed here for a long time. The land has begun to heal. Is this your doing? My name is Kena. I helped Benny and Saya free Taro's spirit. I'm on my way to help the woodsmith. Do you know her? Yes, I know Adira. She was a great woodsmith. Together we found a way to capture the energy of the mountain shrine. She believed we could harness the resources of this land to sustain the village forever. But that dream faded long ago. We've only just met, but I can tell you have a strong connection to the spirit realm. You carry the same energy that flows through these roots. It must be what drew you to this place. With focus, you can gather that energy. Your bomb should prove useful in powering up all the old technology around here. We need to repair the power mechanisms to open the passage. Take a look up there and see if you can get things working. feel her presence everywhere. These fields are scarred with memories of destruction. What could have happened here? We need to find three relics to help Adira. There is something buried beneath the poison over there. That might be a good place to start. Rufus! You're okay! I can't believe it! What are you doing, big guy? Easy there, old friend. I'm happy to see you too. <laughs> this is Kena. She's here to help Adira. He may look rough, but deep down, he's a sweetheart.
She must have moved mountains to transport the village heart. If anyone could find a way, it would be Adira. I'll return the relics to the tower. Thank you for your help, Hannah. I know it's hard to revisit the past. I'm glad you've come, Kana. I believe you can help her find peace. Be careful. The ancient people who settled here were drawn to the mountain shrine. But they didn't fully understand its potential. Hana and I found a way to focus the scattered energy of the mountain. I thought it would last for generations. But the village heart started to fade. This was just the beginning of our problems. Something was wrong. The crops failed and poison covered the land. Hana left to search for food and supplies to save our village. I watched her go that morning knowing I would never leave our home without her. Weeks turned to months, and she did not return. We tried everything to help restore balance, but nothing worked. I knew our home was lost, but I couldn't leave Hana behind. I had to help her find her way back. So, I started to build.
Somehow I felt leaving would make me forget her. The life we shared would slip away. That fear blinded me, and I tore apart everything we created. I've lost someone too, and the thought of forgetting them scares me. But I've met Hana, and I know your love is strong. Even after all these years, what you built together is still a part of the land. Your bond will never be broken. shared something special. It lifts my heart to know they are together again. Adira knew she was powerless to stop the poison, but she never gave up hope that Hana would find her way home. Zaju, I saw something in Adira's memories. Some kind of creature. It seemed to be connected to the troubles in the village. Was there no way to drive it out? You were not the first to ask me these questions. Our leader, Toshi, struggled to accept the will of nature. Toshi loved this place, and it broke him to see it wither away. The leader of your village. I've seen this spirit on my journey. He's at the heart of the corruption that blocks the path to the mountain shrine. He will not move on quietly. Make sure you are prepared before confronting this final spirit. Look for Toshi in the village leader hall, along the path to the mountain shrine. truly seek.
My dad is gone. Can you help me find him? Don't worry. We can look for him together. This is his staff. He can't get home without it. Can you carry it for me? Take it slow. You've traveled a great distance. Crossing over is no easy task. Toshi's spirit was different. Stronger than the others. He was able to push me from his memories. Toshi wields an untamed power. But that is not why you failed. Corrupt spirits feed on the conflicts within ourselves. My father told me stories of the Sacred Mountain Shrine and its connection to the spirit realm. After I lost him, I set out to find the shrine, hoping it would make me a better spirit guide. I've always known he was gone. But I thought if I could help enough spirits find peace, he would see me and be proud. Many spirit guides have come before you, but they have all failed. Your father would be proud of who you've become. Toshi could not accept the fate of our village. He destroyed the sacred creature and broke the natural cycle of the land. It seems Toshi has hidden his relics in the spirit realm. You will need to cross over to search for them. Look for gateways in the village. Dash through them to reach the spirit realm. The mask I craft only helps the spirit who has loved us. Your duty is to the people who remain. I am afraid the burden of a village leader grows heavier with time.
Your will is strong, spirit to guide. The paw of the mountain shrine is mine. I took it to save my people. It's time, Toshi. Let go, and we can restore your home together. You wanna challenge me? Come! Faced him once before. You may think you know these creatures. Let me show you their true nature. Sisters trusted in the power of the mountain shrine. Its waters nurtured our village, gave us life, strengthened our connection to the spirit realm. I could not understand why it would betray us. Home was crumbling, and the people looked to me for answers. You should do nothing? You should take action. The creature is connected to the balance of the land. Its presence, the famine. They are part of a natural cycle. The land needs time to heal. We must cross the mountains. It's time to look for a new home. Your faith in the old ways has blinded you. Lead our people, and they will follow you. Zajiro, you have the power to stop this. We should drive it out. Put down the staff, Toshi. I will end this suffering.
Why are you punishing us? Why? What did we do? Answer me. How many people must die? Why? Tell me! Don't turn your back on me! Listen to me! told me change was an essential part of life he understood the rot God's purpose fear drove my actions and I destroy something beautiful if I had just listened to Zajiro how many could have been saved? I'm sorry, Toshi. We're not meant to suffer such pain. Grief is natural, but it can imprison us, change who we are. Your torment has lasted long enough. Nothing will change what happened here. You must forgive yourself so the land can heal. Come, Toshi. Our time here is over. Goodbye, Kena. There is only one spirit left for you to help. Goodbye, little friend.